Pre-trip inspection. Front of vehicle. Approach front of vehicle and look for leaks. Check for fluids dripping on the ground or puddles under the engine and transmission area. Lights. Check that all lights, left, right, four-way, headlight, high beam clearance are clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Reflectors. Clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Open the hood and say, clear. Right side of engine compartment. Overall condition. Check all of my hoses for leaks and for proper condition. Check all wires for proper condition and fasten correctly. Alternator. Securely mounted. Wires are also securely mounted. It is belt driven. Belt is not frayed, torn or cracked and has no more than three quarter inch of play. Water pump. Securely mounted and isn't loose or leaking. It is belt driven. Belt is not frayed, torn or cracked and has no more than three quarter inch of play. Coolant level. Check for proper level. No leaks. Check that hoses are not leaking and in good condition. Left side of engine compartment. Overall condition. Check all my hoses for leaks and for proper condition. Check all wires for proper condition and fastened properly. Oil level. It is above the refill mark in a safe operating range. Explain how to check level or perform task. Air compressor. Securely mounted and not leaking. It is gear driven. Air lines are also securely mounted and not leaking. Power steering system. Pump. Securely mounted is gear driven and not leaking. Power steering reservoir. Filled to proper level. No leaks. Power steering hoses. No damage and no leaks. Steering gearbox. Securely mounted. No missing nuts or bolts and no leaks. Steering linkage. All connecting links, arms and rods are not worn or broken. Sockets and joints are not worn and loose. No missing nuts, bolts or cotter pins. Front suspension. Spring mounts, not cracked or broken, no missing or damaged bushings, no missing or damaged hardware. Leaf spring, not shifted, cracked, broken or missing. U-bolts, no broken, missing or loose U-bolts. Shock absorber, securely mounted and not leaking. Front brakes, brake hose, securely mounted not cracked, worn, or frayed, and no leaks. Brake chamber. Securely mounted and not leaking. Cracked or dented. No loose or missing clamps. Slack adjuster and push rod. Securely mounted with a cotter pin. Not bent, broken, or loose. No missing parts with brakes released. Should have no more than one inch of movement when pulled by hand. Brake linings, not worn dangerously thin, no contaminants such as oil or grease. Brake drums, not cracked, no dents or holes, no contaminants such as oil or grease. Front wheel, ICD. Inflation, properly inflated, checked with a tire gauge. Condition, worn evenly, no cuts or damage to tread or sidewall. Valve stem and cap are not broken or missing. Depth. No less than 4 30 seconds tread depth on steer tires. Rim. Not damaged or bent. No welds and no rust or powder trails indicating loose lug nuts. Lug nuts. None missing. Not loose. No cracks or distortion of the bolt holes. Hub oil. Axle seal. Not leaking. If sight glass is present, check oil is at proper level. In cab. Safety belt. Secured and mounted, not ripped or frayed. Safe start. Place truck in neutral. 
Make sure the parking brakes are pulled out and clutch is engaged. Turn the key to the on position without starting it. Check that the ABS indicator light comes on and goes off. Let the needles sweep. Then start the truck and slowly release the clutch. Let the air pressure build to 115 to 125. Listen for the governor to cut out. Check all mirrors. It could be six or seven. Make sure they are clean and properly adjusted, not damaged and no loose hardware. Windshield. Clean and clear, no damage and no obstructions. Dashboard indicator lights. Left and right. Turn signals. Four-way flashers. High beam indicator light. Make sure they work. Temperature gauge. After startup, should rise to normal range. Oil pressure gauge. After startup, pressure builds to normal range. Volts gauge. After startup, should be between 12 and 14 volts. Horns. Check to make sure they work. Heater and defroster. Turn on and show they work. Wipers and washers. Securely mounted, no damage, and operate smoothly. Check washers for operation. Emergency equipment. Fire extinguisher. Properly charged with inspection date. Properly secured. Triangles. Three reflective triangles able to stand on their own with no damage. Fuses, circuit breakers. Spare fuses or circuit breakers if truck is equipped with them. Turn engine off, but leave key in the on position. Shift into fourth gear. Do not start. Must use stopwatch, phone, or watch. Air brake check. You must perform and verbalize all three air brake checks correctly. Make sure to release both parking brakes valves. Wait for air to stabilize. Perform applied test. Apply and hold brake pedal after air stabilizes. Should be no more than 4 PSI for a combination truck of air loss in one minute. Low air warning test. Fan brake pedal down to 60 PSI. Low air pressure warning buzzer indicator light should come on. Emergency pop-out test. Continue to fan brakes to between 40 and 20 PSI. Trailer ba brake valve should pop out first, then tractor brake valve. They could pop together, but tractor brakes should never come out first. Safe start vehicle. It is okay to ask the examiner if you can increase the RPM to 1000. Air gauge governor cut out. Check that both the air gauge and the air compressor are working properly. Governor should cut out when pressure reaches between 115 and 125 PSI. Parking brake test. Release tractor brakes, put the truck in fourth gear, and tug on trailer brakes. Apply tractor brakes, release trailer brakes, and tug again. Service brake test. Roll forward at 5 miles per hour and apply brakes. Foot brake. To make sure they work properly and to check for pulling to one side or the other. Ask the examiner to exit the vehicle to check all exterior lights for proper operation, front, sides, and back of the truck and trailer. Side of tractor. Door and hinges. Check that doors are not damaged and they open and close properly. Hinges and seals should be secured. Check mirrors for proper adjustment. Catwalk and steps, securely mounted, 
free of all debris and a solid place to step. Side marker light. Left, right, four ways, clearance. Clean, not missing, or broken, and are the correct color. Red on rear, amber elsewhere. Fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. Securely mounted, no damage, and not leaking. Check underneath. Fuel caps. Tight, no damage, and no leaks. Rear of the tractor cab. Reflectors. Check upside down L reflectors on back of cab. Clean and secured reflective in nature. Airlines. Securely mounted on both sides, not leaking and no damage of any kind. Not dragging on tractor frame and catwalk. Glad hands. Locked in place and free of all damage. Seals are in good condition, not leaking. Electrical cord. Securely mounted on both sides, not frayed, no damage of any kind, not dragging, not dragging on tractor frame and catwalk. Under vehicle. Frame. Not cracked, broken, or damaged. No illegal welds or aftermarket drill holes. Drive shaft. Not bent, twisted, or cracked. U-joints are secure and free of debris. I will inspect both axles the same way. Rear suspension. Torque arms. Secured, not damaged. Spring mounts. Not cracked or broken. No missing or damaged bushings. No missing or damaged hardware. Leaf spring. Not shifted, cracked, or broken or missing. U-bolts. No broken, missing, or loose bolts. Shock absorber. Securely mounted and not leaking. Upper and lower airbag mounts. Secured, not damaged. Airbag. No damage and no leaks. I will inspect both axles the same way. Rear brakes. Brake hose. Securely mounted, not cracked, worn, or frayed, and no leaks. Brake chamber, securely mounted and not leaking, or cracked or dented, no loose or missing clamps. Slack adjuster and push rod, securely mounted with a cotter pin, not bent, broken, or loose, no missing parts. With brakes released, should not have more than one inch of movement when pulled by hand. Brake linings, not worn dangerously thin, no contaminants such as oil or grease. Brake drums. Not cracked, no dents or holes. No contaminants such as oil or grease. I will inspect both axles the same way. Tractor wheels. ICD. Inflation. Properly inflated, checked with a tire gauge. Condition. Worn evenly, no cuts or damage to tread or sidewall. Valve stem and cap are not broken or missing. Depth. No less than two thirty seconds tread depth on drive tires. Rim. Not damaged or bent. No welds and no rust or powder trails indicating loose lug nuts. Lug nuts. None missing, not loose, no cracks or distortion of the bolt holes. Bud. Spacing. Check for proper spacing between dual tires, free of all debris. Hub oil, axle seal, not leaking. If sight glass is present, check oil is at proper level. Splash guards, not damaged and secured properly. End of tractor. Tractor lights, check that all lights, left, right, four ways, brake light, tail light, are clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Tractor reflectors, clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Splash guards, not damaged and secured properly. Reflector tape, present, affixed securely. Fifth wheel, 
Trailer apron, not bent, cracked, or broken. Kingpin, not bent or broken. No gap between apron and fifth wheel skid plate. Fifth wheel skid plate, properly greased, securely mounted, and no missing hardware. Sliding fifth wheel pins, not damaged and in the locked position. Mounting bolts, none missing, no damage, secured and tight. Locking jaws, secured around the shank of the kingpin, not bent, broke or damaged. Platform base, not cracked or broken, securely mounted. Release handle, in the locked position, not bent, broke or damaged. Front of trailer, bulkhead or header board, secured, no damage and able to hold freight. Lights, clearance, clean, not missing or broken and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Reflector, clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color. Red on rear, amber elsewhere. Side of trailer. Overall condition, no damage. DOT reflective tape, present, affixed securely. Frame and cross members, no damage to cross members, frame and floor. No more than two missing rivets on cross members. Landing gear. Fully raised, no missing parts. Crank handle is secured and frame and landing pads are not damaged. Side marker light. Left, right, four ways, clearance. Clean, not missing or broken, and proper color. Red on rear, amber elsewhere. Side reflector, clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Sliding tandem, locking pins are locked in place. Tandem release, handle is secured in the lock position. I will inspect both axles the same way. Trailer suspension, torque arms, secured, not damaged. Spring mounts, not cracked or broken, no missing or damaged bushings, no missing or damaged hardware. Leaf spring, not shifted, cracked, broken or missing. U-bolts, no broken, missing or loose U-bolts. I will inspect both axles the same way. Trailer brakes. Brake hose, securely mounted, not cracked, worn or frayed, and no leaks. Brake chamber, securely mounted and not leaking, cracked or dented, no loose or missing clamps. Slack adjuster and push rod, securely mounted with a cotter pin and not bent, broken or loose, no missing parts, with brakes released, should not have more than one inch of movement when pulled by hand. Brake linings, not worn dangerously thin, no contaminants such as oil or grease. Brake drums, not cracked, no dents or holes, no contaminants such as oil or grease. I will inspect both axles the same way. Trailer dual wheels, ICD. Inflation, properly inflated, checked with a tire gauge. Condition. Worn evenly, no cuts or damage to tread or sidewall. Valve stem and cap are not broken or missing. Depth, no less than 2 30 seconds tread depth on drive tires. Rim, not damaged or bent, no welds and no rust or powder trails, indicating loose lug nuts. Lug nuts. None missing, not loose or cracks or distortion of the bolt holes. Bud spacing. Check for proper spacing between dual tires, free of all debris. Hub oil, axle seal. Not leaking. If sight glass is present, oil is at proper level. Splash guards. Not damaged and secured properly. Rear of trailer. Door ties. Secured if swing door equipped. Rear side marker light. 
right, left, right, four ways clearance, clean, not missing or broken, and are the correct color, red on rear, amber elsewhere. Trailer ABS marker light, if equipped, clean, not missing, or broken, and are the correct color. Rear door and hinges, not damaged, opens, closes, and latches properly. DOT reflector tape, clean and secured, reflective in nature. Check upside down L reflector reflectors on back of trailer clean and secured reflective in nature reflectors clean not missing or broken and are the correct color red on rear amber elsewhere trailer lights checked at all lights left right four ways tail light brake light and clearance and reflectors are clean not missing or broken and are the correct color red on rear amber elsewhere right side of trailer i will check the right side of the trailer the same way as the left side with one exception exhaust system connected tightly mounted securely and no loose clamps check for signs of leaks should have no black soot